Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome, you guys. Monday afternoon build stream. We're going to be doing some, some building stuff and things. We've been uh, traveling down the billet box sort of road, as it were. So we got another billet boxy thing today. I think we only have like two more weeks of billet boxness. Maybe two more, maybe two more weeks of billet boxness. But welcome, you guys. Thanks for coming and hanging out on a little Monday afternoon here with old Grim. If you're here now, you can like this video. You can just click the little like button. We like to say smash it. We actually like to say like the smash button, which makes literally no sense. It makes less than zero sense. Welcome, Master Hype a Sniper. I see you there, Cameron. Cameron, I see you there. Matt, Billy, yeah. It's good peeps in the chat today. Good peeps. Everybody act good. Everybody act nice and good. So billet boxes. Yeah, we've been going down this billet box rabbit hole and this is the vape snail. And I've already done a video for the vape shell. And I always get these confused in my head because to me, the vape shell seems like it would have its own shell on it, right? But it's not the case. The vape snail has its own little shell. This is an inner for your billet box or billet box compatible mods. And we're just gonna build it. It's the vape snail, not sure what to tell you. It's made by at Mizzou. I got the box back here because I need the 510 out of it. In fact, I'm gonna need something. Shoot, we might have to go full guar mod to, to glow these coils on here. I got some cotton bacon prime ready to go. I got some brand new clippers from, uh, uh, you know, I can't remember his name. Yo, yo, to him though, patron. Shit, what was the name? What was his name? Who bought me the clippers from the vlog? This wasn't that long ago, Nick. It's not like you have a lot to remember. Anyway, that was a gift of new clippers, and I got some coils today from AJ Holland. These are his LE edition coils, and he just wrote BBS on them. So I'm kind of thinking billet box stuff, right? Billet box stuff. I feel like that could be a thing. We're taking bets on to see if this is going to go over 30 minutes. <laughs> over 30 minutes, Chad. That could be a thing. You never know. I always just put 30 minutes in the title, but that doesn't mean anything. That means zero. But I have some AJ Holland, Hoy AJ Holland coils here that just wrote BBS. Oh, that's right, Jake. It was Jake Scrapwood. And I, was, I almost said Jake Scrapwood for the Clippers, but I, would, I wanted to be sure. But yes, it was Jake Scrapwood. So there's some coils in here that I think are going to... Uh, I think they're gonna fit really perfectly nicely inside of it. But the first thing we need to do is get the 510 pin out. Comes with a little 510 guy so that we can plug this onto a device, which we're gonna do. I'm just gonna steal that right now. Shout out to uh, Bearded Viking Customs in South Africa for the, uh, for the mod stand. Yeah, proudly made in South Africa. Check out, if you guys need mod stands, uh, Bearded Viking Customs does it and does it well. Now, I don't remember exactly how this works or how this goes together. I've always said this is my favorite thing for the billet box. It's my favorite. What's up, SVK Vapes? I see you there, Zach. Gonna rebuild my snail as well and my bridged and my EXO V2. Monday stream is my, get, let's, I'll race you, Zach. Let's race, ready? No, so we don't need to race, but this comes with its own like tanky guy, its own little silicone flip up Philly guy right here. It comes with a replacement, this. It comes with all replacement O-rings that you ever need. And it comes with a bunch of replacement, uh, you know, pads right here. So this is what goes underneath it. And the idea is that it will soak up any maybe residual liquid. There's like a little puffy pad here and you get a bunch of spare little puffy pads. Now I need to figure out how to remember how to attach this to a 510. How did this work? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. This needs to unscrew out of here, right? Am I wrong? Yep, okay. This unscrews out. This part on the base unscrews out. Take that out, then you can put this 
in Boosh, and that's how you get it to a 510. I believe. Let's try it. I'm going to put it on the Guar mod here. Don't worry. I'll adjust my camera so we can all see it. I don't have my glasses on, so I cannot see the chat. But I promise I'll try to read it as soon as I possibly can. Let's pull this up so we can actually see what we're going to be building right here. Vape Snail. I'm pumped to vape this again. I've got some uh, six milligram water Malone all ready to go for the inside. PSS. Yeah, clippers are from Jake Scrapwood. Jake Scrapwood. Jake Scrap. I should have written that on here with a damn Sharpie. Um, I'll have all mine done before you're done with yours. Oh, okay. Challenge. Challenge on the floor. Challenge accepted. Remove the bottom pin. Yeah, I know. I got there, Zach. I eventually got there. I eventually got there. So we got two screws here on the top. Two Phillips screws. So I don't know why I'm using a flathead screwdriver. That's all I have apparently is flathead screwdrivers. Okay, here's a Phillips head screwdriver. So I'm just gonna back these out like a little bit. Just a little bit. You wanna test and see how long they are? Oh, about that long. That's when they start getting wobbly. So you can take these out quite a good distance. You still got some good distance on those screws. Now, I'm gonna try to find a coil in here. And these are all two and a half millimeter coils. That's what I would recommend for the vape snail. Two and a half millimeter for sure, all day long. I'm just gonna, okay, yeah, oh, this is gonna fit great, dude. Holy crap, that's gonna fit almost perfect in there. That is going to be basically perfect in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend these ends up a little bit. So that that's kind of, I don't know, a little bit of a marker because we're pre-clipping our leads today, my friends, pre-clipping. We're not running into any truss issues that we had last week. Last week. <laughs> any truss issues. AJ Holland in the house? Well, I love you, AJ Holland. I, I appreciate the coils. I'm hoping that BBS stands for billet box stuff. That's what I'm hoping. If not, then shit. Then we're all screwed. Um. I'm going to see thy weed. We're pre-clipping these. Ooh, that might be good. It might be too short. You know what? Doesn't much matter. Let's clip this one right here. That one might be good. That one might be too short. Nope, they're both perfect. They're both pretty, pretty freaking perfect. I'm just going to set this in here. One of them might be a little bit short, but you know what we can do? You know what we can do, man? We can, we can even these up a little bit, I promise. Let's see if I can do this without ruining AJ Holland's beautiful coil. Yep, just like that. Do, 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 do. Pre-clipped. Sets in there perfect. Holy crap. I might beat you, Zach. I know we're racing, but I might beat you. Yeah. I think that got both of them. That captured both the leads pretty nicely. Judge me. I think that captured both of them pretty well. Neither of them are sticking out. Maybe this one over here by the peak insulator. Maybe. Yeah, it's sticking out a little much, isn't it? Sticking out too much. Should I try to take care of this now or should I just fiddle with it for the next hour? <laughs> should I try to take care of this now or should I just fiddle with it? Let's just fiddle with it. Think I can get in there? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, no problem. No problem. Dude, I think this is gonna be perfect. I know I'm all excited right now. Yeah, see, when you go to tighten these down, really, it kind of pulls your coils around a little bit, spaces them out. <laughs> see that? See that, how my coil got spaced out all of a sudden? See that now? Spaced. It instantly, because of the way the screws pull on you, Kind of turns it into a spaced coil right out the gate. It's not a huge deal. It's just something, you know, to be aware of. The same thing happens on the vape shell. 
Grim Green, please do not repeat of last week. Oh, come on, New Wave Dave. Where's your sense of adventure? Come on now, New Wave Dave. It's okay. We got to position this. That's going to kind of bring it together just a little bit. I think this is good. I think this is like a 10 out of 10 build. <laughs> if it'll focus on it, won't focus on it. I feel like this is a solid 10 out of 10. Yeah, 9 out of 10, 3. Did someone give me a 3 out of 10? Who was that? I don't have my glasses on. Let's kick this person out. I'm just kidding. Uh, 3 out of 4, okay. 9 out of 10, that's not bad. 3 out of 4, Neil. I think this is going to be great, Stan. I think this is going to be great. Yeah, let's see. Let's measure the resistance on here real quick. Let's resample it. Looks to be uh, about a 0.5. Is that correct, AJ Holland? Should that be a 0.5 right there? Let's, let's strum and pulse. It's just 20 watts. Might even need to do some uh, manual spacing of the coils here. Oh, perfection. Perfection has been achieved. And I think that my leads look good. Might try to nip some off of over here, but otherwise, I think these are gonna be perfect. In fact, I'm gonna just test fit this right now and make sure that it still fires and doesn't short out or anything on me. Let's check down the center. Whoa, it's glowing perfect. Oh, it's glowing perfect. It's glowing perfect inside the shell, which means that my leads are cut, cut to an adequate distance. <laughs> I don't have to worry about it. What's up with you, Steve? I'm just chilling. I'm building a, uh, I'm building a vape snail here. You hip to the vape snail? 11 out of 11, New Wave Dave? 9 out of 10, Zan? Okay, that's fine. 0.45 to 0.5? Dude, they're coming in perfect. In fact, I'll, I'm going to unscrew this. We'll do another resistance check here. Screw this back down. Yeah, dude, it's coming out to like a 0.5 on the nose. 0 0.5. 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Perfect, AJ. Freaking perfect. Now, now's where we get to the wicking. And the, the wicking is what is gonna make or break your little Boro tank inner here. Because if it doesn't wick, then that sucks and you get dry hits. And then if it wicks too much, then that sucks. Technically, yes, it sucks and you end up, it ends up leaking everywhere. So I'm gonna pull this so it's snug throughout the coil, but I'm also, I'm also considering thinning out my wicks a little bit. Okay, it's definitely through, and it's snug. I can snug, I can see it kind of pulling the wire. I'm considering thinning out my wicks. I might just cut these. Didn't, didn't I see Todd do it this way where he just cut along the, he cut like one this way and one that way and ended up in like a little bit of a point. Look, there's still time to save it now. Like that, so from the top it kind of looks squared off. I feel like that's the correct way to go. Have it a little bit squared off like that. I think I saw Todd do that. Todd. Thin them? Sith Walker's telling me to thin them. I'm thinking about thinning them. Thin it for the crackle? AJ Holland coils usually give me a nice little crackle. I'd be surprised if these don't. But even, I mean, you know, even if they don't, I'm not going to judge them. Thin them? All right. I'm going to thin these out. I'm going to thin these out just a bit. I'll use these, uh, you know. Going to thin these out. Just a little bit. Brush them out. You know, what do people call it? Combing them out. You comb out your wicks. Be like Mike. Comb out your wicks on literally everything. All right. I feel like that's uh, not bad. 
Got a bunch off of there. And I'm going to retrim. And now I'm going to try and do that thing that's the hard thing to do where I'm going to lift it and, and press it so that the bottoms of the wicks are, are folded under, like in a folded over motion. Folded over motion. I'm going to really try to do this. If not, oh, boom. Dang, that was easier to do than I thought. All right, well, you're giving me a little bit of trouble over here, but that's okay. That side was folded over easily. Fold, oh yes. Oh my gosh, I mic vaped it so hard. You know, he does that with just, with such, uh, such confidence, you know? He just flips those wicks every time. I can never get them right, but I think I did it well. Wicked. Okay. That's the final wicking. It's the final wicking. Don't Nephron. <laughs> Nephron in the chat. I don't comb crap. I've never had any issues. Yeah, look, I'm not a comber either. I don't comb. I don't thin. I've never really had any issues with it. There's been a few RTAs over the years that I've thinned, but never really uh, cared about it. But with, I've noticed with billet boxes and billet box inners, you're having, you know, you have this little, look how little this space is to work with. Look at my gross thumbnail, but look how little this space is to work with. I feel like you kind of need to do a, uh, I kind of feel like you kind of need to thin it out a little bit. Like you just have to. I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna get some of these edges tucked in a little bit more. And then we're going to throw some liquid on here. Like I said, I got some six milligram MG water Malone that I'm pretty excited to put in here. Hmm. All right, man, here we go. Let's test for some vapor, some hot vapor action. At least I'm remembering to juice my coil again instead of just putting it together and hoping that it wicks enough liquid in there. <laughs> yeah, some vapors happening. Oh, some vapors happening. I can see a little bit of a crackle happening too. All right. Well, let's get on board with uh, putting this together. I think it's gonna go this way, yeah. So. There's an O-ring, there's like a big silicone O-ring down here that's like segmented a little bit and you can feel it kind of like when it when you push it in. Who said hi? Paolo. Hi Paolo, how you doing? Hope you're doing good. What's up, Ryan? Just no big deal, just hanging out. We're putting together this vape snail. So that means this is just going to go straight down. Boosh, just like that. And that's it. And it's in and it's together. And you can see some cotton kind of poking out right there. You can kind of see some cotton poking out right there. We're going to unscrew this off of here. We're going to reattach this little center jobber so that it can make a connection. Now, what we don't want to happen <laughs> is we don't want to get this into the billet box and then see the dreaded check atomizer. Oh, check atomizer. That's what we don't want to happen, you guys. So I'm just going to snug this up as much as I can. I might even try to get like my little flathead screwdriver in there. Just make it snug. Just make it snug. That's all you have to do. And then when you're putting it in the billet box, shit, we need a billet box. I think the, I think the billet box that's going to be sacrificed is, uh, is uh, Bluegrass here. He's had the uh, evil alien inside of him for a while. And we're going to pop the evil alien out and replace it with the uh, Atmazoo Vape Snail. Vape Snail. 
I like the evil alien, and I really like the tobacco liquid I have in here. Let's see how clean did it stay. Let's get, uh, what is that, a few weeks use. That's a little juicy over there, but it's no big deal. Stayed really clean. Stayed really clean on the bottom. Stayed really clean on the back. Evil alien stays really clean. So when we go to put this in here, it's going to go in like this, and then we're going to add the little spare puffy pad thing to the bottom. It kind of just sits on these little rails on the bottom, and then your contact's going to come through there. So we're just going to place it in here flat, like that. Let's go in, and then you got your little silicone sled on the bottom with your little puffy pad if and when, you know, in the event that in the event that it leaks or you get some sort of, uh, you know, condensation and things like that. It's supposed to slurp it up. I've never, I don't know, mine's never leaked, so I've never seen, uh, what the hell's going on over here? So I've never seen it uh, wet. I've never seen mine moist. Mine's always dry. I still use a quarter. Yeah. I know you're not supposed to. There's tools for this, but you know what? I am resistant to change. And I think everybody knows that. Just kidding. I'm not that resistant to change. Let's make sure that this is tight. Yes. All right. Now, this is the moment of truth. We're going to experience this together. Is it going to say check atomizer? Dino Doug, 19 watts. Or is it going to say like, 0.49, baby. AJ Holland coils coming through. 0 0.49, 0 0.49, 0 0.49. Amazing. 0 0.49, 0 0.49, 0 0.49. Uh, make, make sure you use condensation plug to cut down on the turbulence. Does that cut down on the turbulence? Is that what does it? I've noticed that this inner, you know, for the Boro tank, uh, is much less turbulent than a lot of other ones in that I can drag firmly on it and it doesn't get turbulent. To keep the turbulence down on other ones, well, this is this is attached to this forever now, I guess. No, okay, I got it. To cut down on the turbulence on other ones, like even that truss, you just have to drag uh, lighter. You have to drag in a, in a light manner, in a light fashion, as it were. In a light manner. Truss right here. Truss still going strong inside of this. Delightful. Flavor is so good on this. So we got it. Let's we're we're gonna fill this up. I'm just gonna lay this on its back. You flip up the little silicone jobber right here and you can fill it up a nice good amount. As I've said already eight quadrillion times, <laughs> we're doing a six milligram water Malone. Shit, I forgot. Six milligram water Malone from uh, Liquid Barn, Wayne Walker, DIY or die. Water Malone, Liquid Barn, six milligram. Some of the products in this video can have nicotine in them if the user decides that they want to add nicotine but that's not up to me. This billet box does not natively come with nicotine in it. <laughs> you have to add it yourself. How many times do I have to do that thing? How many times? I have too much stuff on my desk. This is a mess. Um, Daniel Two Trips, a very gracious of you. Nick, I sub ohm but travel a lot. What's my options on a billet? Cheers, much love. Well, the billet is mostly like restricted lung stuff. Almost everything you get, the Hakuzeta, the vape snail, the vape shell, everything I have, it's all restricted lung. It's all very restricted lung. But look at that. We got a full vape snail. We're gonna put the honeycombs back on. We're gonna put the uh, the black Noli designs, Noli drip tip on there. It's a little bit of a whistle tip guy. I just love the crap out of it. I love the way this looks. I love this setup with the, the honeycomb on there. So basically everything's restricted lung. I would do restricted lung, six milligram. I, you know what? I don't know. The truss is probably going to be the easiest to get because it's going to be, it, you know, it's the mass produced one. 
But let's see. I don't even know what what voltage to run this at. Should I just try 20 watts out of the gate just to see? Oh, that tastes delightful. No, let's go to like 35 watts. How's that sound? How about 34 watts? 34 watts? Let's give it a pull. Let's try. Uh, if anybody... Oh, Dome, ch Dome Junkie in the chat is wondering which reducer I used in the Atmazoo. The answer is zero. This baby's running wide open. The reducer is not in the base. There's no reducer in the chimney as well. This is as wide open, possibly wide open that you can possibly get with the vape snail. There you go. Alpha Wolf. Oh, thank you very much, Alpha Wolf. I really appreciate that. Here we are. Ooh, we're almost, we're creeping up on 30 minutes here, but we did it. And it was way easier than I remember it being. It's just those two screws. You know, as soon as you uh, install your coils and start moving those screws around, it, uh, it spaces your, hey guys, it spaces your coils out, just kind of pulls them apart, but that's okay. 33, 34 watts, 0.5, AJ Holland, Atmazoo, vape shell, boosh, we did it. Yep, this is still my favorite. This is my favorite one. Holy shit. Yes, Atmazoo, vape, snail, is in my opinion, the best billet box, burrow tank, uh, insert, inner, whatever you call them. I don't even know the terminology. I'm so out of the loop. I'm not part of the billet box scene, man. I'm on the outside. I, I am having a love affair with this. It is vaping so well. The airflow is some of the swooshiest and smoothest that I've come across on any billet box, borrow tank, anything. Holden, welcome. I got your email. I'll be hitting you back soon, but welcome to you. T type two update. Let me finish up with this first. This is my favorite. I just want to, I just want to praise it a little bit more. It's the Atmazoo vape shell. They're expensive. I bought this and I think it was like 150 fucking dollars shipped to my door, something like that. I think it's 130 something euro. They're expensive, but the vape snail is worth it. Take all the inserts out, throw some AJ Holland coils in there. You get some big airflow. You get banging, banging flavor. Easily my favorite, easily my favorite inner. Uh, did you say in a previous stream you'd get a hold of hair hold of the air i'm selling my xov2 to get a second one. Oh, i haven't looked into that i'm trying to i'm trying to that's something i definitely want oh twisted messes is here too twisted messes is here the vape snail can't the vape snail is my favorite i just love the crap out of it the airflow is so good the flavor is so good. It just hits really well. Look, the Hakuzeta still really nice, but in my opinion, the vape shell or the vape snail rather, the vape snail, you can't go wrong. It's my favorite. It's the best. That's it. We built it. We wicked it. It was so easy. Just remember that it spaces out your coils and you'll be good to go, even with a spaced out coil. I'm still getting a nice little bit of crackle in this, still getting some real nice, nice flavor in this. Um, so for anybody asking you about a type two update, I don't have many updates for you. We are still uh, a, at least a week and a half to two weeks away from it. We had some issues with the uh, with the manufacturer, you can check in the Grim Army Facebook group. There was an update from Dwayne in there, but we're gonna be doing a very, very limited run of them. Uh, my Patreon, the yo yo Cool Kids Club, they get first crack at them, which BT dubs, I cap all my Patreon stuff out, so there's a limited number of spots, but we just opened up 
like a few 20s and a few 10s today. Just a few, just a few. If you want to jump on it, it's no pressure. You just get access to tons of way more cool stuff. But they're going to get first crack at it. Then the Grim Army Facebook group is going to get second crack at it. Then it opens up to the rest of the world. I still have to get my RTAs in. I have to shoot my introduction video because everybody that owns this RTA needs to watch this introduction video. It's a very specific RTA for a very specific purpose. And if you like things like Boro tanks, like the vape shell, man, the type two vapes a lot like this vape shell, vape snail. Very much a lot like it. So it's a restricted lung and it's banging. I just posted a picture on my Instagram if you want to see it with the just try it drip tip. But that's a type two update for you. Type two updates. Coming as soon as humanly possible, you guys. Believe me, I'm anxious myself. I'm anxious myself to get that out as well. And then uh, we had one more super chat there from Alpha Wolf. That's very gracious of you, Alpha Wolf. Thank you. I appreciate that. What's my thoughts on the new Caliburn hybrid music? <laughs> well, you go back and watch my review. I love the crap out of it. I've been using a uh, rosy brown here with some uh, 12 milligram Blueberry Hill. It's banging. In fact, uh, the Endura M18 I got recently, I've been using that almost more than the Caliburn. And then today on my Monday coffee stream with the patrons, we opened up this Vaporesso banger that you guys, it's vaping so well. It's vaping incredibly well. I'm really excited about that thing. But even more than that, I'm really excited that I got my vape snail back in the billet box. Boosh, 35 minutes. Damn, damn, that's good. Well, shit, you guys, thank you so much for coming out. I, I appreciate it. I think, like I said, we got maybe two more weeks left of the billet box stuff before, I don't know, we'll get into some older stuff. We'll get into some newer stuff. We'll get into some building, some other stuff that I've got sitting around. I have no lack, no lack of things to build. Is there a little whistle? Did you hear a little whistle there, Seth? And I'm even getting that AJ Holland crackle. Uh, this is the best inner. I would buy another one of these. In fact, I would trade uh, an evil alien maybe. I might even trade an evil alien for one. Look, I like the alien, but I would rather have two of these. So shout out to Atmazoo for the really quick shipping and the good customer service experience. We had one more super chat here before we wrap this up from Nick Ryan. Uh, he says, thank you for all you do. Your videos help me get into vaping and help me get off combustible tobacco. Awesome. So much love from Canada. Awesome, Nick. Fuck, that's cool. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to help. And I'm glad that I was able to, I'm glad I was able to help out as best I could. I see you there, Sean. What's up, Sean? Well, we're going to go ahead and wrap all this up. I appreciate you guys coming out. We actually kept it under 30 minutes for once on a Monday, but uh, tomorrow I'll be back here. Bridge. Is that what they're called? Bridges? Because there's one that's called the bridge. Duh. Bridges. Okay. My favorite bridge for the billet box is the vape snail hands down, hard stop. I want more of them. That watermelon tastes delicious in here. Delicious. But don't forget, I'll be back here tomorrow with Danielle Jones. We're going to be doing some Tuesday Bro News Day on election day. Everybody remember to vote. Vote your hopes. Please, everybody remember to vote. I guess that's where I'm going to leave this. But seriously, thank you guys so much for coming out. Really appreciate it. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you Thursday. I'll see you next Monday. It just never ends. Monday, Tuesday, Thursdays. That's how we do on the Grim Green YouTube. <laughs> anyway, one more time. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. And uh, be excellent to each other, you guys. As always, be excellent to each other. Peace out.